What's up guys, in today's video, we're gonna be doing a fishing challenge. I have not done one of these in a very long time, and we're gonna be doing a 1v1 bass fishing challenge versus me and Luke over there. Last time I did one of these, I was in Wisconsin, and we did a 2v2 ice fishing battle, but this time, we're gonna be doing it for bass, and we got the Mystery Tackle Box Pro, and a new box that just came out from Mystery Tackle Box. It is a technique box, so I'm about to unbox those for you right now and we'll see what we're dealing with and then we'll flip a coin and see who gets what box. We're about to open this box right here and we got some crankbaits but these did not come in the box. I ordered these off Shop Carl's. There's an option where if you order something off the website you can add it to your box for free shipping. So all these were free shipping because I added them to my box. I'm about to lay everything out with this and I'm about to lay everything out with the technique box. This is everything in the pro box right here. I'll let you guys take a gander and then these are fair play for both of us but they're only gonna count as half a point and here is the new technique box got two jigs little vial bug little craw and some eliminators now with the technique box is you pick what you want so I picked a flipping box so I get flipping stuff I get a j two jigs some craw lures and a vial bug they don't just have flipping boxes they also have a topwater box they have a Texas rig box, a wacky rig box, and some other boxes as well, but I chose the flipping box because this is this time of year, they're on beds, and hopefully they'll be on beds tomorrow so we can catch a couple. But now we're about to spin a roulette wheel and see who gets which box. We're gonna do rock, paper, scissors to see who is gonna get the first <laughs> box that it lands on. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, <laughs> wait. Ooh. I got you. All right, you. all right, so Luke is gonna get whatever box this lands on here, so let's try to take the glare off, and we'll give her a good spin. And yeah, the pro box it is. So Luke is going to be fishing with the pro. Whoa, what was that? Oh, pro box. You got the pro box. There we go. So Luke is going to be fishing with the pro box. We both got what we wanted. I wanted the technique box. He wanted the pro box. We are going to rig up here, and then tomorrow we are heading out to the pond, and we're going to try to catch a whole bunch of fish. I think we're just going to do. Are we gonna set, we should set like a timer or something? We should, we're gonna figure out yeah. the, the more, we're, we're kind of making up the rules as we go, but we're probably gonna set a timer. Whoever catches the most fish in that time frame wins. We just made it to the pond. We are about to officially start this challenge off. We got some perfect conditions today. As you can see, we got overcast. We got wind blowing into the cove, guys. This is the perfect storm for this pond, so I have a good feeling. We're gonna be able to catch a bunch today, and I seriously think I'm gonna whoop you in this challenge. All right. Well, this is what I'm going to be starting with right here. We got the Trash Master with the Eliminator on the back. What are you starting off I with? I got a double fluke rig with, I don't know what that is, but that and a Ocho Senko. This is not cheating, because this was what was in yeah, that, that box. Yeah, that was what was in the box. All right, here we go. We're about to start the first cast here. There we go, got one. Ah, get up here. I'm gonna land the first fish. Ah, there we go. First one on the Trash Master. You getting nervous over there? Got one. First fish of the day. That is one point on the board for me. There's no size limit. Luke's over there missing a bunch of them, but I'm gonna keep throwing this jig around, see if I can't catch some more. There you go, Luke's hooked up down there. It is 1-1, one, one. just like that he answers. So I'm gonna keep going forward and beating the bank up here. Luke's got another one down there. So he's got two, I got one. He's crushing him on that double fluke rig. Oh, as soon as it went in front of his face, he crushed it. Got him, there we go, got one. This is a nice one. He's, uh, get back there. Boom! I wonder if he was on a bed. I've been seeing this one do that in that same spot like four times now. There we go. I think this is my second fish of the day. Yeah. So now it is 2-3. Let's get you back. That was a nicer one right there. See, that's the size they all used to be in this pond, but I don't know what happened. There might have got to be too many of them or something. Now we catch a lot more dinks than we used to, but 2-1. You, get, you getting nervous now? It's 3-2, Dumbo. It, oh, it's 3-2. Oh, wait. Yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, Luke caught a couple fish while I was over there, but I'm gonna keep throwing this jig around and see if I can get a couple more. Get in here. Darn it, there we go. Now I'm down by two. Uh, which one are they hitting more? The the top one or the bottom They're one? They're hitting both, actually. Both? Uh, yeah. There you go. Little Dankerton. Get them back. Boom, what does that make it? 4-2? Four 4-2. Two? Four two. Four two. We're just going to have to go fast here, just try to cover some ground, see if we can't catch some more. No! 
There goes my eliminator. The trash master jig just went flying off. No, I really need to get some better line. Come on, well, now I am down to just the flippy jig. That really puts me at a disadvantage right there. That's the one I thought was really gonna crush him today. Yo, we're leaving Luke with the G7X. I'm going to venture out over here. So if he catches one, he's gonna flip that on. That way you can see his fish while I still get to power fish the pond. Guys, just got this other one on the Ocho Senko. Gonna get him unhooked here, get him back. I was just kind of just hopping it up. He hit it on the fall, so 5-2 now. I'm up by three fish. No way. No! I was literally just reeling it up and he smoked it. I didn't even realize I had him. Uh-oh. There we go. Got one. There we go. Finally. Get up. Get up. All the way out there. All the way out there. Ugh. It's a nice one. Oh, this is a really nice one. Come on. Play him. Ooh. Get up here, get up here, yeah, yeah, there we go. Man, this is the biggest one of the day so far. Look at this guy, bucket mouth, boom. Look at that, that might be the biggest fish of the year for me. Boom, see that's what I'm going for right there. It's these bigger ones, that's why Luke's catching more than me. But I'm catching definitely the size here. Here we go, let's get it back, what's the score? Eight, three, there we go. I'm definitely catching more size than him though, so I think that's technically a win. Oh, dude, I just had one run up on this thing. Ah, I got him. Boom, there we go. I saw him V-line right towards it. Bah, get up here quick. We ain't playing around now, boys. We may have figured something out. This bank is definitely on. What's the score now, 8-4? Just like that, the score is now 8-4. Let's get this dude back. I saw him V-line right towards my jig. I was like, oh, man, I just spooked one. But no, he, he was just attacking the jig. Oh, you got him? Luke just caught one over there. Just got another little dink on the Ocho Senko KVD. He hit a lot closer to the bank than the other one did. They're in pre-spawn, so they should be pushing up. Another dink in this cove. B-Boy's over there. It's like 8-2 now. I'm, I'm in the lead by a bunch. I'm still not going to relax yet, though, because he can catch up. I think I... Got him! There we go! Boom! Get up here! Man, he choked five. it. There we go. 10-5. Now I only need five more. Little dude, literally first cast. There's a little flat out there that I just threw the jig out on. He crushed it. But guys, I can't get over that trailer. Still going strong. Got this dink. Bryce is over there. There he goes. Got him on, I don't know what, what they're called, but it's this big worm imitation, and I'm just fishing it like a fluke really fast. Luke's got one. No. It's putting me farther and farther back. I don't think I'm gonna be able to come back from this one. What do you got now? What is that? Number 11? Man, it's 11 to what? Four or five? Four, yeah. Or I'm no, gonna, five. Yeah, five. five. 11 to five. Boom, there it is. Little guy, get him back. Boop. Got him. Ah! Oh my God. There we go. Man, we've been seeing some commotion over there, so then I set the hook on him, comes flying out of the water. These fish are so healthy. Get out of here. Smoke the jig. Look at that. Boom. Look how fat that fish is. Let's get him back. Yeah. There he goes. Man, I'm gonna that was not the one that I, I saw making that commotion in the bushes. There's no way that little fish made that big of a splash. Oh no. Oh geez, how much just fell in the water? Oh gosh, that was scary. In the tree. Dude, I have one. No way. Is that it? No way! Dude, he's stuck in the tree! Look, guys, I got the bat stuck in the tree! <laughs> he was stuck in the tree! Get up here! Literally all the way in the tree. I flipped this all the way in the tree. Luke just missed one too. There we go. Boom. This guy was as far in the tree as you can get. <laughs> there you go. That's probably the weirdest fish catch I've had in a while. Unfortunately, that is going to have to wrap up this video. The final score was 11-7. I did not win. I, I, there was a little bit more growth in this pond than I expected, so the jig really wasn't working too well. But I did manage to catch seven off the jig, and I feel like if I would have not cast it off that Trash Master jig with the eel on it, I think I would have caught a lot more fish using it like a swim jig. But thanks so much for watching today's video. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. We've got a ton of amazing content coming your way, and you're not going to miss it. 
Oh, I did not win. Well, Luke's down there. He wins official bragging rights that he beat me. <laughs> but anyways, thanks for watching. See ya.